the truth is I never really thought to do a video on this subject, as honestly speaking to identify yourself as an alpha male, beta male or even an omega isn't of too great an importance, it's what you do and the values you live by that count. However, it seems there's a lot of misconceptions about the qualities and strengths of alpha males on the net today, and so I wanted to help you identify some of the key traits of alpha males to reduce the misunderstanding of what it truly means to be an alpha. So with all that said, let's look to see if you're an alpha or beta male. Number 1. Leadership I wanted to focus on this one to get it out of the way early and remove one of the biggest misconceptions on what makes an alpha male. The fact is, many seem to believe an alpha is someone who is aggressive and considered a dominant figure in a group of people, such as a jock in a typical high school, whose dominance is seen in strength and athletic ability. However, Equally important today is that many intellectual leaders are considered alphas in their field, whether it be business or science, and here's what's interesting. Alphas in a group vary depending on the dynamics of the group, as if Bill Gates was in a sports team, he's unlikely to be the alpha in the group, but in the world of business and IT, no sports star comes close, showing the alphas vary. But the one common factor is that they are all leaders in their respective areas of expertise. Number 2. Focuses on others Now we previously looked at the role of leaders in their respective fields, something that's a common trait amongst alpha leaders and one which also shows you you can achieve the status of an alpha in various forms. However, the reason that alphas are seen as leaders in their fields is because they take on responsibility for their roles as a leader, meaning they focus on others' well-being. For example, Using the previous example of a jock and a bulgate, what you'll often find is they focus a lot on those who are part of their group, as obviously Bill Gates takes the responsibility of a huge number of staff. But also on the part of the jock, you'll often find that they'll come forward to defend their friends in time of need, asserting their role as the dominant figure of the group. Number 3. High Self Esteem one of the reasons why Alpha is able to act as leaders and take on responsibility of the groups they lead is they have extremely high self-esteem. This level of belief in themselves and their capabilities is why they are able to assert themselves in such positions in different groups of people. For example, I once remember Tony Robbins doing a talk about a negotiation he conducted where he was saying that a person who is able to convince the other the most of what they offer is the one likely to sway opinion. And how is this done? It starts from your own personal belief, as the stronger the belief in yourself, the harder it is to sway your position. Number 4. Self Assured Alphas are self assured, as just as they have self esteem in what they are capable of, they are committed to believing in what they are capable of and where their strengths lie. In part, this is because they are self aware and know their strengths and capabilities, meaning when they are challenged in that particular field, they are capable of defending themselves. However, remove them from that environment and doubts can begin to set in, as suddenly removing them from the position of power can expose their weaknesses and place them on par with others. Take the Bill Gates and the Jock examples from before, they excel in their respective fields but switch them to be in each other's position and the likelihood is they would struggle to maintain the alpha status. Number 5. Confidence All of the points covered come down to a fundamental point, which is alphas need to have confidence, as without it, it's hard to have self esteem, be self assured and take on the responsibilities of a leader. With confidence you immediately become a more attractive figure to others, whether it be in school business or in personal relationships, as people naturally seek out others in life they can respect and trust. And there's one fundamental point there about being alpha, while elements of a dominant alpha, the biggest, strongest or most aggressive have always played a role in our species, the traits of a prestigious alpha, one that's caring, sensitive and lives by their morals and values are of greater importance in modern society. So to be alpha, 
don't just think about the idea of being the biggest and strongest as the way to be an alpha male, but rather focus on the needs of modern society, which is that you'll equally become an alpha by being a good person. Do you identify with the traits of an alpha male? Let me know in the comments section below. Please like, share and subscribe as we help you live life on your terms. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to ensure YouTube notifies you of the latest uploads. Thanks for watching.